Agnieszka. And this is me, Neil. And we're here with a new robot for you. Uh, so the situation is that our grandfather is not feeling too well right now. And he's on medication. However, the problem is that sometimes we forget to give it to him. Uh, in fact, even like when we set our alarms and they ring and then we turn them off and forget about it. So our solution is the... Senespeed MedBot Plus! <laughs> it's a beautiful robot. <laughs> so the idea for the MedBot is joint, like we both came up with the idea, but I didn't get to work on it as much because school, I had no break from school. And however, I helped in designing, reviewing Neil's code and all, that's it. The rest though is Neil's work and he'll explain it to you. Hi everyone! This is Senespeed MedBot Plus. Senespeed is just my imaginary company, so now I'll explain what this does. So, uh, so this is the this robot will actually do few things. Number one, it will start automatically uh, on its own according to the time which we have set. So, for example, if my grandfather has to eat medicine in the morning and in the evening at nine o'clock a.m. and p.m., then this will start at eight fifty-five, and then it will announce it that it's medicine time and it will follow the track and go to the kitchen. Once it reaches the kitchen, it will announce so that someone can fill water and keep it, and then it will move again. My grandfather. Once it reaches my grandfather, who usually sits on the sofa, it will announce which medicine he has to eat and wait for some time so he can eat it. And once it's done, he will say he will announce that he's the, my grandfather is a good boy and that he'll come back in the evening and he'll follow the track to go back to its parking place. So first, let's see how the robot works. This is the MedBot Plus. Right now, it is Nana's evening medicine time, and this is gonna announce it and then start. Good evening, Nana. Night medicine time. I'm coming. Hello, thank you. Medbot. So now let me show you the components. Okay, so what are the major parts? Number one, I have an Arduino Uno, a breadboard, a mini DF player, an RTC module, two uh, motors, and two IR sensors. So now, 
what does all what do all these parts do so i have the arduino uno which is the main processor a breadboard on which i connected all the parts so the this rtc module actually gets the real time from the internet while the motors uh, move the robot this mini df player which you see right here actually plays the audio to the speaker which was connected and it was on top of the robot i have actually inserted an sd card from which it will read the files next we have two ir sensors which will read the uh, color intensity on the ground so it can follow the track and then this speaker will play the audio i've connected a switch to the battery so i can turn it on and off and the battery does not get wasted so now in short i'll explain the algorithm so first of all this rtc will get the real time from the internet and once it gets it the arduino will send a message to the mini df player to read the audio files and play it on the speaker and then uh, after that function is done this mode these two motors will start moving to follow the path these ir sensors will also get the indication to follow the track which is made so they can also sense the turns and make the robot turn accordingly so though it looks simple it was not actually so simple it's pretty tough so i learned how to use these modules on the internet i learned how to wire them and all but this whole logic was my own i created it on my own and thankfully it works this will definitely be helpful for my grandfather because we have already started using it for quite a while i actually wish to make a bit more advanced version of this which would have some features like bluetooth and wifi connection so we can also control it from our phone in case anything happens so hope you like it thank you